The Datlov Pass incident in many people's eyes has remained a mystery, but now scientists from the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology have said they finally closed the case on what happened. The Swiss Federal Institute of Technology used state-of-the-art technology and created computer models to prove their theory. Scientists said that what actually happened was an unusual type of delayed avalanche, and this was the cause of their demise. For those unaware, the Datlov Pass incident happened back in 1959. At the time, the Soviet Union was still hidden behind the Iron Curtain that blocked all information from effectively getting out into the media, or even the rest of the world. During this era, a mysterious incident had occurred that still inspires fear and curiosity. Known as the Datlov Pass Incident, nine ski hikers went up to the northern Ural Mountains between the 1st and 2nd of February, in the hopes of conquering the area that was feared by the locals due to superstitions and strange rumours. These hikers would hope that exploring the region that would put to rest any worries the locals had, and hoped that by doing this it would pave the way for new hikers to visit the area and enjoy the scenic beauty of the region. Unfortunately, this decision would lead to the death of the nine highly trained and experienced hikers, and would solidify the superstitiousness of the area. On the 26th of February, a rescue team had discovered the group's abandoned and badly damaged tents that had been established on the slopes. The sight seemed perplexing, as it became apparent that the tent was cut open from the inside as if the group had begun panicking and cut through the tent in an effort to get away from something that was attacking them. The bodies of each of the individuals in the group were found in a nearby ravine, and this was after following their tracks in the snow, which only led to more mysteries as the majority of the bodies recovered were dressed only in their underwear, as if they ran out into the darkness of snow without first getting dressed, and then presumably froze to death. As the investigation continued and the bodies of the deceased were put under examination, the theory of hypothermia soon came into question. Medical examiners discovered that each person suffered from internal injuries commonly seen in a car crash, or after a massive amount of pressure and force comes into striking contact with a person. This led many to believe that perhaps the individuals were attacked by a non-human entity, capable of causing such terrible force and leading to their deaths. Unfortunately, this theory and others like it can never be confirmed nor denied. However, fast forward to the present day, and researchers from the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology have said they've cracked what happened. After creating different models and scenarios, the team said that what most likely happened was the hikers caused a cut in the snow while they were settling down for camp. This in turn caused a small section of the surface to form what they described was a shoulder, they did this because they believed it would shield them from the elements. The scientists said though this was where they made a fatal error. Creating this shoulder led to it creating an avalanche, the thing they said eventually caused their demise. When questioned about the hikers and how they were found in unusual places, and even with certain body parts removed, they said that this was normal and this is usually seen when a slab avalanche hits. Professor Alexander Prozrin, one of the lead researchers at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology, said that the cut snow and an unusual weather event known as catabatic winds was enough to trigger the event. Catabatic winds carry strong air down a slope, which in turn helps it carry snow. The professor said the following, The catabatic wind probably drifted the snow and allowed an extra load to build up slowly. At a certain point, a crack could have formed and propagated, causing the snow slab to release. End quote. Co-author Dr. Johan Guyam said the following. We use data on snow friction and local topography to prove a small slab avalanche could occur on a gentle slope, leaving few traces behind. End quote. The mountain where the hikers were is notorious for strange happenings, and for being hazardous. In fact, the mountain's name means don't go there in the language of the Manzi. Scientists have said the case can now be laid to rest, and that the hikers were unfortunately in the wrong place at the wrong time. Over the years, this theory has been the one that's been backed by researchers who have looked into the incident, and although it answers many questions, there's some that feel it doesn't explain everything. 
amateur researchers have decided to do their own research and look into what happened. And they said there's a lot of details that scientists and researchers leave out when they present their theories. Interestingly, when you start looking into the history of the area, it was reported that there hadn't been an avalanche before, with locals and those who visited the region saying there's no history of avalanches that have been recorded, and certainly nothing that could cause humans any harm. Also, if there was an avalanche in the region, it would have happened at the exact point that the hikers were staying at, something that seems very unlikely. Another point is that when investigators started to look into possible causes, they found no evidence of there being an avalanche during the period in which the hikers were on the mountain, and that the injuries the hikers sustained didn't line up with this theory. With this news, it's only made some put forward the idea of a cover-up, and this brought in a wave of new theories about what actually happened to the hikers. One idea that doesn't get much spotlight is that the hikers were victims of escaped prisoners. Some suggested that during the time in which the hikers were on the mountain, war prisoners were roaming the area as they'd just escaped from a nearby camp, or accidentally been discovered by them, and in a moment of panic lashed out. This may have been the only option for them at the time, as they would have rather attacked people they didn't know than be turned into Soviet authorities. As mentioned though, this isn't backed by modern scientists, and they've said the case should be laid to rest. So what do you make of the Dartlov Pass incident? Do you think the hikers were in the wrong place at the wrong time, and were victims of an avalanche, or do you think something else happened? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.